about Muhammad والسلام, and the world today. Nabi Muhammad والسلام, was sitting in his home when his sister-in-law came in, his wife's sister, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, had an elder sister named Asma. So she came in and she was wearing clothing which was a bit transparent. So when the Messenger of Allah saw her, he turned his face away. And he said to her, Asma, when a girl reaches the age of puberty, so now she has a monthly cycle, nothing must be seen of her body except this, and he pointed to the face, and this, and he pointed to the hands. And so a woman is supposed to be covered. We, we use the word hijab to describe that covering, hijab. But actually hijab means a curtain. That no one can speak to Allah except min wara'il hijab. When our mothers were alive and our grandmothers were alive, we never saw a Muslim woman on the street bareheaded. Eh? You ever saw your mother bareheaded? Or your grandma? Nani Ami? No. They used to wear something called orni. But at least they were covered. Already? Where are our Muslim women today? Illa masha Allah. The woman in hijab is the exception. The majority of our Muslim women today have abandoned hijab and have followed the Jews and Christians down into the lizard hole. She gone to work in the bank and she's dressed like all the others in the bank. You wouldn't know she's a Muslim woman. This abandonment of the sunnah has taken place before our eyes. Do we make an effort to try to correct it? If your wife is not in hijab, you have to answer for it. You're president of the Jamaat? You're the president of the Islamic Association? And your wife is going to work in <laughs> bareheaded? Is this a joke? And your daughter going to school bareheaded? And she's a big girl? Is this a joke? What about the rest of the community? When you see Muslim women bareheaded on the streets, what about the rest of the Muslim community? Listen to the Prophet and tell me whether we are following the Sunnah or not. He said, Man ra'a munkaran fal yugayyirhu biyadi. He said, if you see something which is wrong, which is evil, change it with your hand. If you can't change it with your hand, he said, change it with your tongue. If you can't change it with your tongue, at least change it with your heart. What are we doing? Are we attempting to change it with our hands? Well, if not, are we speaking out against it? And if we're not speaking out against it, are we detesting it in our hearts? And if we're not even detesting it in our heart, and he said, that is the weakest form of faith. That is the weakest one of all, to detest it in your heart. The overwhelming majority of the women of our community have abandoned hijab. We're not attempting to change it with the hand. We're not attempting to change it with the tongue. We're not even detesting it in the heart. Would you not agree <laughs> that nothing now remains of Islam but the name? <laughs>